Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Terry's Moon. I am the Royal Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry our God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And this video right here is for all my Gemini INFJs. NFJ, NFJ, <laughs> and for all my Gemini INFJs out there, right, I'm getting ready to break down what you have been experiencing, because us INFJs, and I'm an Aries myself, but us, I, we experience all that abandonment and non-validity energy, not even knowing this is what we're going through, so we learn how to separate ourselves from the world and find ourselves through the world by having these qualities already. So for the most part, this is that kind of like introverted thinking, but extroverted feeling. So you're observing the expressions of the world through the lens of your Gemini psyche, which makes you the hero of communication and friendship. And as we break this down, you're also going to understand those areas you start to feel smothered because you're so big as a space of spirit. And when you start to get drank too much, AKA feel smothered. And when it's time to get your space back, all that separation happens happens all that all oh, you not who you are supposed to be energy and from fans family friends and associates so you know what i'm saying keep this in mind so you are the hero of communication and friendship so you know you being born coming up through your life as an average that only us infjs can understand we have those situations in our life where we don't know we haven't been validated good or bad so we got this new thing we brought in the world and what you brought in the world was the gemini quality so you brought this new kind of aspect of gemini down here because we're already equilibrium androgynous spirits then we, we jump into these forms and numer and numerologies and gematrias and astrologies and stuff like that these is this alchemies we're using but we're not these things remember we're always separate from the world we're not these things we're here to create the world because we're this is like our mistake we're the fallen angels that need to rise again in a prosperous way that's why we so good at things but feel separate from it. We did it already. We're tired of it. It's like a job we started and we no longer care about the job anymore. And anyone else who's using these titles and things of that nature, we kind of look down upon these individuals and things of that nature. But we look down on ourselves based upon not expressing certain energies because we know we can do these things better than them. That's the confirmation of you're an your angel. And you need to rise again. So when it comes into the context of you are the hero um, of communication and friendship. So this comes into a situation where you have developed this communication with yourself. You have developed this type of friendship with yourself. So it's easy for you to share your space and give that to others when they're not giving that same percentage level back. Because you kind of think you are the father or the mother of that energy being a spirit in a female or male body down here. As, and as a Gemini, INFJ. You know we control vibrations. We create feelings. So you are in charge of that world. And the filtering system, you specifically being a Gemini, is going to be through the lens of that context. So when you go out in the world, now you're going to start to feel like now you're starting to realize what you was always used for when you were trying to find yourself to try to understand why you're just not no regular person because you get attention, you get popularity, but it plays out in different as the average individuals under societal titles and stuff. So this is where our problems come from, being INFJ. We don't have regular human issues. The things that humans won't, we actually already have. We're trying to figure out a better way to deal with it. And then that makes us go into those decisions that we even want to do it at all type circumstances, right? But we have to live our INFJ life. So keep that in mind. And we can't be caring if our big space make other people feel small because it ain't our duty and obligation to have a spirit know how to build themselves up. We just inspire them. We're not here to do that for them, given our, our energy that we do that for ourselves to them. And this is what we have to learn in our lives, being INFJs. So when you're the Gemini, you are the hero of communication and friendship, being a Gemini INFJ. I mean, INFJ. So now you're going to start to look back at your life like, yeah, I was being drained for not me and who I am. I was being drained from these family, friends, and associates based upon... When they're in a situation with their connections already and they need someone to talk to, that was all the only person. I, that's the only time I was being used. Anytime somebody needed a friend when their actual friends was in a type of situation or negative animosity with them, that was the only time I was these people friends. But when I needed a friend, when I needed someone to communicate with, they was never there. Boom, that's when you know you get a drink. And the moment you take your friendship, your communication away that you already good at with yourself away from these individuals that you were trying to find yourself through, that's when you become the enemy. That's when you become, oh, you was never their friend. That's when you become, you was, oh, they would, they never had to uh, communicate. You know what I'm saying? Because it's that extroverted, uh, that introverted thinking, observing yourself, keeping your thoughts to yourself, but extroverted feeling. Being able to observe uh, the expression and by you introverted thinking, you already know the extroverted feeling where it came from as a seed. 
a space a person had to be in and even develop it. So as the Taurus INFJ, you are the angel or the demon to your own or others. I mean, yeah, the Gemini INFJ, you are the demon or the hero to your own or others, friendship or communication. And at the end of it all, reason why people sometimes separate and you did everything right is because you threaten their friendships. You're threat you threaten their ability to know how to communicate. So you self-reflect to a lot of individuals that you attract in your life to make them look at their own situations like, oh, I'm not handling my friendships the right way. Oh, I have been rocking people to sleep. I have been manipulating people. I have been communicating in a selfish way. And you remind this person that, which is would make a person probably not want to be around you, even if you never did anything wrong with them. And all you did was give them all of your energy, all of your space, and they took it all for themselves type situation. They feel guilty for that. Always understand that. And that's for my Gemini's INFJs.